In this first part of our four-part series on Polarian LiveDoc documents, we'll take a look at what is a LiveDoc document, how do you create one, how do you define work item artifacts in a document, and how do you link work items to others in the same or a different document for structure and traceability. Polarian's LiveDoc documents are online documents similar in many ways to Google Docs but with one very important difference. Polarian Live Docs are aware of artifacts in their content, requirements or test cases, for example. And you can leverage the full capabilities of the Polarian platform with workflow automation and control to manage them throughout the entire life cycle. Yet the content is always available to stakeholders as an easy to understand, easy to work with document. This is a Polarian innovation you won't find anywhere else today. It's quite easy to create a new Live Doc in Polarian. With your project open, click on Documents and Wiki in the navigation, then click Create New Document. In the dialog, you first supply a name. Let's call this one Specification 1. Then specify the space where it should be kept. Since this is a specification, let's choose the specification space in this demo project. Keep in mind that the spaces in your project can be completely different from these. Next, you specify what type of artifacts, uh, we call artifacts work items, what type of artifacts will be defined in the new live doc. The types you see in this list depend on the types defined in your project configuration, which may get them in turn from a project template. That's not vital info for creating a new document, but just so you know. Let's say this is a requirement spec, which will contain requirement work items, so I'll leave the selected type as requirement. Link role is where you choose the default relationship between linked work items. Again, the link roles available in the list depend on the roles defined in your project configuration. If you want to structure items hierarchically in the document, this has parent role is a good choice for the default. You'll of course be able to link work items with any of the configured link roles. If you want your document's headings to use outline numbers, leave outline numbering checked. If you do that, you can optionally specify some prefix to the number. Okay, so now we're ready to create our new live doc. As you can see, the name you supplied becomes the document title, which may or may not be what you want. You can now edit it if you want to, and let's do that. Something better, uh, requirements specification, that's better. And you can begin adding text. Uh, I'll just do a quick placeholder for now. You save the document and it's ready for further work. All stakeholders will always have access to the latest greatest version and they can collaborate on the content online even in real time. Notice that all work on this doc so far has been automatically tracked in its history. As we said earlier, the really unique thing about Polarian Live Docs is their ability to contain work items and leverage workflow and other features to manage them throughout the life cycle. Work items can represent any kind of artifact you need to track and manage. This is a requirement specification document, so it contains requirement type work items. You specify the type when you create the document. And you can add other types here. For example, if you wanted to define requirements and test cases in a single document, you could do that, adding the test case type in this configuration dialog. To create a work item, in this case a requirement, just click on the first line of some text or select multiple paragraphs. Then go up here and click, and the text is marked as a work item. Want some hierarchical structure? Just indent, and you have a parent-child relationship that's not only visual, but will also be maintained as data going forward. Save the document to actually create the items in the repository and generate permanent work item IDs. And now we're tracking these paragraphs as requirements. Linking work items for traceability is quite important and it's quite easy to do in a live doc. First you identify the work item you want to link. Let's link this requirement. We know it's a work item because of the left border which distinguishes it from plain text. Now go to the target item, the one you want to link to. Click anywhere on it and on its type icon menu select copy link. Now go back to the first item, click on it and then open the document sidebar. Open the work item properties there and click paste link. You can see the different relationships available in this project. These are called link roles. I'll just give this one the relates to type link. 
Again, we save the document to affect the change and update the document's history. Now, what if the item you want to link to lives in a different document? For example, what if I want to link this requirement to a test case in a test specification document? Well, it's almost the same as what we just saw. Just open the document that contains the target item you want to link to, and then in that document, select the item, the target item, and again, on the icon menu, take Copy Link. Now go back to the first document and click on the item that you want to link to the external item. Go to the Work Item Properties in the sidebar as before, and as before, click Paste Link and select the link role. Here's one that denotes test coverage. We save the document and this link will be created. Look how easily we created traceability. Anyone can follow the link in the requirement to the test case that verifies it or from the test case back to the verified requirement with just a mouse click. That's it for this first segment of our video tutorials on working with LiveDoc documents. In other segments we'll cover leveraging your existing assets by importing from Microsoft Word, collaborating offline using Roundtrip for Word, and managing variants of your documents with Polarian Live Branch. If you have comments or questions or need help with anything Polarian related, contact us at info at Polarian.com.